All right, well, welcome back to MLG Championship Sunday. So far, it's been a good one. Straight ripping up two to nothing over instinct. Happy Father's Day to all you dads out there. It's Sunday and C. Giovanni along with Chris Puckett. Now we just saw straight ripping win a nail biter right at the end there. And you know what? That's not what instinct needed. Maybe a backbreaker for them losing by two at the end. Macchio, team captain, a momentum player, getting his team fired up, trying to stay in it. It's going to be up to them to communicate and believe in themselves because although their backs are against the wall, they're not done yet. Of course, on the other side, straight ripping got to be feeling good, but they don't want to get overconfident because this one's not done yet. So we're going to get this action going for you. See Neighbor right there, a very streaky player. Love the routes he runs. Elamite, great player, legit, of course. And then Big Daddy T. So let's take a quick look at the map and the game type as we get into this next match. All right, well, coming up next, it is game three, Oddball on Guardian. Yeah, sorry. Now we have Oddball Guardian, of course, going to be one of Straight Ripping's stronger game types going into this event. They struggled a little bit in Meadowlands, but they're looking strong so far. Straight Ripping still yet to drop a game. So these guys are absolutely on fire, and you're going to look for El Might Warrior and Legit to continue running the objectives here for Straight Ripping. D Square pushing top middle once again. Took down Snipe Down, who had the sniper. So now Straight's got the sniper, and he was taken down. All four dead. That is going to give the ball to Instinct, and the camo player, Roy, is going to bring it back to his teammates over here on Snipe Tower as he is going to continue to try and do some damage, playing sneaky with this camouflage. Now, Instinct has got to be able to try. They've got to work to get 10, 15 seconds of ball time at a clip here. It's not about just grabbing the ball and uh, walking across the map with it. They need to get it set up in place because that will, be able, that will enable them to give themselves a bit of a distance between themselves and Straight Ripping. They'll put Straight Ripping on the offensive. They've shown that they've got the skill. It's just a question of patience, communication, and you know what? They've just got to shrug off that last game. Yeah, it's all on Instinct shoulders right now. They definitely have the talent capable to take out Straight Ripping. It's all going to be mental here. Halo is about 60% skill, 40% mental if you ask me, Sonny. And these guys, especially the Instinct players, are all about the mental game. Macchio, their captain, being the worst about it. Absolutely. You know what I got to say I love so far is the new addition, Snipe Down. He seems like he just wants to win. He's doing what it takes. He's leading the way. His stats have been great. He looks like he's been here before. But again, this is only his second event here with MLG. And he's on the pro circuit. This kid's got to be feeling good. Now he just needs to remember, it's not over yet. It's up to them as a team. All right, we're jumping on board with Team Captain Macchio. He is charging the snipe tower. Neighbor hit him with a no scope. That is what Neighbor does best, weakening Macchio. That allowed his teammate Legit to clean up the kill. And now Legit and T Squared are just running amok over here on Snipe 2. T2 with the mauler. Legit with the perfect grenades. Legit looking so much more comfortable here in Halo 3 than he was in Meadowlands. You said it. You said it. Legit, I think, realized. He went into the Meadowlands, and I remember talking to him. He said, you know what? We're feeling good. We're feeling solid. It's the first time we're actually playing with our coach behind us. But you know what? Maybe they felt a little too good. I don't think they're going to leave anything on the floor here in San Diego. It seems like they want to win badly, and every player I look at for a straight ripping seems like they're playing well, they're playing the game together, and as a team, no weak link right now for straight ripping. Now, one thing to point out about this oddball game is last time against Triggers Down, we saw the game go about 10 minutes before anyone got a minute of ball time. This time around, straight ripping is being much more aggressive with the oddball. And you see T Squared's already ha having his team with 50 seconds, and it's only three minutes into this game. And you know what? Maybe he felt like last time against Triggers Down, they waited a little too long and it was a little too close. But I have to say, it's, it seems like it's working so far. Oh, nice play there by Elamite. Elamite just picked up a double kill. Going for that triple, he hit the body. That is going to force Instinct to back off his snipe tower. And Elamite is still controlling these power weapons. He has also stepped it up since the metal ends. I say, you know what, Elamite... Talked to a lot of folks. He's one of the top five pros, according to some people. I like his all-around play. He's a guy that maybe you wouldn't call out as being the one you have to control for straight ribbon. But you know what? So far this event, he's proven that he likes being underestimated a little bit. It lets him get in there and do some damage. All right. Well, Elmite was taken down. We're going to stay on board with him, though, because he is such an amazing player to watch in objective games. I was talking to T2 a little bit about him. I was like, so is Elmite your objective player? He's like... I guess you could call him that, but he's also one of our best slayers. 
He has an amazing shot. He positions himself well, and he's also a phenomenal support player. He doesn't worry about finishing kills always because he will put two to three shots on, trusting that legit neighbor or T2 will do it for him, and he can go back to focusing on his objective. Again, the key to any team sport, not just Halo 3 here on the MLG Pro Circuit, is trust. If you don't trust your teammates, you're not putting yourself in a position to win. And you know what? Elamite has proven that he trusts his teammates. Well, neighbor going to town, bottom snipe, dropped the grenade there for Lunchbox, who's chasing him with the mauler. Lunchbox's twin brother, Roy, was able to take him out, but we're gonna stay on board, though, with neighbor. He was so hot on Saturday, as he normally is, but what happened in Meadowlands was he definitely cooled down on, sun on Sunday. Can he continue the momentum that he had last night into the day? We'll have to find out. So far, he's doing a pretty good job of it in game one and two, winning that last game, Amplified Team Slayer for his team. You said it, you know, Neighbor, one of those players you watch, and he's a very exciting player. He can play pretty much any role for the team. But one of the things I love best about him is that he will run routes on maps that you don't normally see. He will do things that make you say, what? But you know what? Somehow he makes it work, and that's just his sneakiness, his skill, and also the fact that he has the teammates around him who are communicating to him and telling him where he's clear and where not to go. All right, well, we're listening to Macchio and Lunchbox trying to clear out the Snipe Tower. Macchio is asking, Where's the last one? It was T-squared and Macchio beat him down. So this is going to be Instinct's opportunity to get a little bit of ball time. They're set up here on Snipe too. Macchio putting shots bottom middle, not backing down, tossing some grenades. You got to love how confident Macchio is in this event compared to last one as well. Well, last event, as you mentioned, Macchio got into his head a little bit, got a little frustrated with his teammates and with the momentum that they lost, but so far doing a great job. Let's listen to him lead the troops here. Macchio, captain of Team Instant. And keep your eyes in the bottom left corner because it is awesome to watch his expressions. Grab ball. Grab ball. I got him. Grab I got two. Grab ball. Get As you said, he even said, are you sure? But in that exchange, they lost control of the ball. Straight Ribbon still with the lead, even after all that. Instinct has got to make a push. The game time winding down. They don't want to let the clock become another disadvantage for him. Macchio leading the truth really well. His head's still in the game. I like to see in that compared to the Meadowlands. That's right. Macchio definitely leading the troops, and so is a player on the other side of the stage. It's T-squared, and he is doing a great job leading the troops. Triple X, of course, also being there. Telling his teammates where to go. So Macchio doing a nice job grabbing that ball and moving it all the way back to Blue Tower. Straight ripping just seemed to ignore him, leave him alone. And now I see why. It's because they're all pushing so aggressively from top blue. But Macchio had some huge help from his teammates. Their sniped out, picked up two kills. And that is going to free them as they take the lead for the first time. We're staying on board with Lunchbox, who just got a killing spree. Now he's got some ball time. They retake the lead with the oddball. It's 84 to 80. Just seven minutes left in this game, Sonny. What's your prediction? Well, right now, I'm liking what I'm seeing out of Instinct, but you know what? For 